专业电视台。Good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, January 10th, 2022, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan Weixin Shen Jiao, the Sagely Teachings of the Heart at Weixin TV Station. Chan Jishan Weixin Shen Jiao, Xian Fou Si Temple, Following the holy revelation of Wang Chan Lao Tzu, held the right to enlighten kids on January 2nd. The founder of Weixin Shen Jiao, Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi, gave blessings to 500 children from the age of two month old babies to junior high school students. 20 years ago, many families' children had been blessed by Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi. Now, they already all grow up to be parents to their kids to return to participate in the same rite after 20 years. There were many three-generation families at the spot. Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi hosted the rite for kids by drawing Om symbol stamp in the air with incense to enlighten kids from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Such extraordinary rite was completed in cozy atmosphere. Chen Jishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao held the rite to enlighten kids at Xian Fu Si Temple on January 2nd at the Fountain Buddha Zen Hall. Upon the majestic virtue of Wei Xin Shen Jiao originator Wang Chen Lao Tzu and nine Bodhisattvas of opening Southern Heaven, Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi provided his empowered consecration to 500 kids under age 15 completely. The raid started in the morning at 8 o'clock while Wang Chen Lao Tzu chanting a mantra with a stick of burnt incense in one scripture holding in his hand to empower consecration to kids for broader wisdom. One special order prepared by Director Zhong Jiafang of Weixin TV Station and sponsored by Weixin Fellow Ling Jingjie for kids on that day, which are kids' favorite popcorn machine and cotton candy machine. With various models of cotton candy prepared and shared to kids, we can see how creativity the kids have. People sang songs and danced together at noon for a short break. After that, people got lots of happiness from the meaningful activities with smiles wore on their faces. After the last one kid received empowered consecration, Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi elucidated to us by saying that it takes 20 years to enlighten kids. You have been very patient to be here and waited till now. Upon the majestic virtue of Weixin Shi Jiao originator Wang Chen Lao Tzu, and nine Bodhisattvas of opening Southern Heaven came to the Southern Buddha Zen Hall, we have kids received empowered consecration one by one. I have to say that you are very lucky so you should cherish this deep connection with my Bodhisattvas. I wrote a word, Om, on the top of kids' heads with empowered consecration. This is to reinforce kids' learning progress, to ensure safety for the whole families, and to reinforce the business of parents. We should appreciate assistance and support from the staffs of the temple. Also, we should appreciate the leader of activity group team, Master Yan Yi, who gathered so many versus fellows to benefit kids, parents, and grandparents attend the rite today. This shows that the world is one family. The activities were completed at 7.30 in the afternoon. Abundant appreciation showed to blessings from Wang Chen Lao Tzu and Nai Bodhisattvas of opening Southern Heaven and Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi to empower concession on kids growing up in healthy and safe environment. Recent report, He Ming, Yu Huiling, Fu Yiping, Chen Yujun, the headquarters, Xian Fu Si Temple. Following the holy revelation of Wang Chan Lao Tzu, the perfection rite of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Xin Chou Year 1990 ritual for national protection and disaster elimination was held at the marvelous lotus platform of the heavy heart of Ba Gua of Wei Xin Shen Jiao Man Altar. In the afternoon of January 2nd, 
the virtuous fellows started the soul's morning rite and offered 200 ship shade doll for worshiping the heaven. On January 3rd, the fellows chanted Wang Chan Lao Tzu profound scripture and other scriptures. The ritual was completed on January 5th. Relying upon the heavenly majesty of Wang Chan Lao Tzu, we wish the Holy Spirits of Chinese ancestors can be delivered to the Southern Heaven Pure Land and to be reborn in the Western Buddhist Pure Land. Now let's watch the highlights of the ritual. From January 3rd to 5th, Wei Xing Shenjia held the perfection rite of Wei Xing Shenjia Xing Chou Yi 99 Day Ritual for national protection and disaster elimination at the marvelous lotus platform of the heavenly heart of Bagua. The day before the Rucha has started, the dean of Wei Xing Shenjia Chanting College, Master Yuan Song, led the chanting masters to summon the souls with the holy religious rites. Master Yuan Song and chanters summed the 15,615 surnames of Chinese ancestors, emperors and their family spirits of Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. The rest of 3,762 Chinese words, the spirits from the three realms, and the ten dharma directions come to the marvelous lotus platform of the heavenly heart of Bagua to receive the feasted dharma offering. On the first day of the ritual at 7 a.m., Grandmaster Huyun Chen Shi elucidated that we should prepare sutras, incense, flowers, fruits, and 200 sheep to thank heaven. The spirits on the lotus seeds will sit on the boat with dharma, go to the southern heaven pure land to cultivate themselves, and then go to the Western Buddhist Pure Land to achieve Buddhahood. During the Rujo, chanters chanting the heavenly virtue scriptures of immortal master Gui Gu, Wang Chan Lao Tzu profound scripture, the Universal Gate Sutra of Guan Yin Bodhisattva, and the larger Sutra of the Amitabha Buddha and other scriptures to express the gratitude to heaven's mercy and transcend the spirits to the southern heaven Pure Land. On the third day, Upon the majestic virtue of Wei Xing Shenjia originated Wang Chan Lao Tzu, the Great Jade Emperor, and the Nine Body Servers of Opening Southern Heaven, everyone saw Chinese ancestors and other spirits off. Chanters made an offering of sweet dew to perfect ritual, guide the spirits to follow the lead of Body Servers, go to the Western Buddhist Pure Land to achieve Buddhahood early. <laughs> Today,五两树的会谈 Yi 四点二十五分了换被法师一起恭送诸经现在已经奉送完毕圆满法传再道啊奉送法会上列祖列宗诸祖灵啊接得两藏天威玉皇大帝的天威王禅老祖天威诸佛菩萨的天威南天净土转生希望极乐世界佛净土
啊，这个划船刚奉化啊，迎圣台啊，蓝天门，在这个后方维新大道，在接下去妙莲池啊，这这在这里一系列啊的法会过程非常殊胜。啊，所以今天我们这个时候已经全部奉化，尤其各分寺道场的住持法师，你们的慈悲，啊，这四十年来，接引各地，啊，十方法界三界万灵，啊，诸诸佛菩萨的天威，啊，来普度群灵，所以要。依法来到奉送到这里，啊，然后啊，由各位法师住持、贤士同修、促进会的理事同修、你们啊，大家一起奉化啊，这一个呃、啊、法船啊，再到啊，所以台湾祖师的大悲愿是广义的。大悲愿，啊，开天九大菩萨的大悲愿，啊，我们所有唯心弟子都是深口一供养，我们努力的修行，依法修行，依教奉行，而圆满了啦。啊，我们唯愿龙天护法保苍生，化解干戈习战争，意愿人心相疼爱，同齐世界。永和平，两岸天下一家亲，两岸和平，啊，和共生共荣，这是我们的本愿。Pray for the peace of the underworld and human world. Pray for the world as one family. Pray for the true peace of the world. 维新 report， 尤慧玲、何敏、李慧玲、康淑欣，维新圣教 Man Order. Take a break. We will come back soon. Next, we are going to have a look at Shilin Aixin Branch Temple's event. After attending ancestors' worship ceremony on January 1st at Xianfu's temple, Master Yuan Lu led virtuous cultivators sincerely invited the Nine Dragon Scepter back to Shilin Aixin Branch Temple for enshrinement. The virtuous cultivators respectfully invited Wang Chan Lao Zhu, all the Buddhas and deities, to bless the spirits and mortals in the neighborhoods of the Branch Temple and pray for the harmony and peace in 2022. The 16th Ancestors Worship Ceremony was completed at Thousand Buddhas Zhan Ho, Changji Shan Xianfu Shi Temple. After the grand ceremony came to a smooth end, each branch temple and piously invited the Nine Dragon Scepter back. Master Yuan Lu, host of Shilin Aixin Branch Temple, led virtuous fellows and their family who attended the ceremony to observe the rites, invited the Nine Dragon Scepter back to Shilin Aixin Branch Temple. Master Yuan Lu elaborated the significance of the Nine Dragon Scepter and described it as a stabilizer much like an anchor of a ship. The ship couldn't stay stable in the vast sea without it. That is, it is the nine dragon scepter that plays an important role in keeping our people from harm and further attaining peace and prosperity. Actually, the nine dragon scepter stands for the nine bodhisattvas guarding people in Taiwan and blessing us with a peaceful life. Despite traffic congestion during the long weekend, everyone rejoiced at it. While chanting scriptures to worship Wang Chan Lao Zhu, they had a smooth ride arriving at Shilin Aixin Branch Temple. Following Wang Chan Lao Zhu's instruction, they reported the statement and prayed to Jet Emperor, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas for blessings. The Nine Dragon Scepter is going to keep guard in every branch temple. To rely on the majestic virtue of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, we are able to eliminate disasters, resolve grievances, and attain harmony between the underworld and human world. Weixin Report, Shilin Aixin Branch Temple.
Enjoy the real story of utilizing Yijin Feng Shui in our daily lives. Have a look. Everybody, Amitabha. Welcome to Weixin Shenjiao Feature Story. A few years ago, a young spiritual practitioner came to see Grandmaster Huanyuan Chan Shi at Xianfo Si Temple and talk about the way of spiritual practice. He said that people engaged in spiritual practices should not talk about money. And once money is involved, they can no longer pursue the spiritual practices. Grandmaster Huanyuan Chan Shi kept listening to his teachings. After listening for a while, but he still talked about money. Then Grandmaster Huanyuan Chan Shi suddenly notices that he sighed three times in a row and then said how money was not good. Too much money will hinder the spiritual practice. Then he shook his head again and sighed twice. The number of three corresponds to the trigram Li, and two is the trigram Dui, the inner trigram Li, and the outer trigram Dui from the hexagram Zhe Huo Ge. In the 64 hexagram, the hexagram of Zhe Huo Ge means we need to reform, and the Si Yao of this hexagram refers to the phenomenon of brothers robbing money. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi asked him, has he lost money recently? Has he been dragged down by his brothers, disciples, relatives, and friends? And the amount was not small, the young master was astonishing and asked Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi how he guessed that. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi said that it was a hexagram derived from the number of times he sighed. At this time, the young master had great admiration for Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, and he confessed to Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi that he helped a disciple who was in business as a guarantor some time ago. But the business collapsed and the disciple fled without a trace. The creditor came to his house, causing the family to be in disarray. He helped his disciple as a guarantor out of compassion, but he never thought it would lead to a big problem. Now, not to mention his initial vow to build a dojo, even his daily life has become a problem. Therefore, he was disappointed with all his fellow disciples, and he was afraid of hating money. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi comforted him. You have been cultivating for so long. It is not easy to have so many people believing you and following you. So don't give up on all your disciples just because one of them is giving you trouble. So the hexagram indicates that there is a need for reform. It is to reform the idea that you want to give up on all your disciples. The young master understanding, nodded his head, and as Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi, is Yi Jing that useful? Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi told him that Yi Jing is in our lives and that no one, whether a spiritual practitioner or not, could do without the law of Yi. When we learn Yi Jing, we can observe the timing and causes, and we can take the divination as it occurs and make the proper judgment on anything at any time and any place. As the wonders the Hama of Yi Jing has been handed down from ancient sages, Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi often encourages us to learn it diligently. Once we learn and apply it in our daily lives, we will understand everything clearly and live each day with peace of mind and fulfillment. Thank you for watching the feature story today. May you all be filled with the Hama joy. See you next time. Take a break. We will come back soon. Continue on our news about activities of Weixin Shenjiao branch temples. After attending ancestors' worship ceremony on January 1st, Weixin Shenjiao Zhubei Yixin branch temple host, Master Yuan Xian, arranged an outdoor education for virtuous cultivators. Take a look. On New Year's Day, Master Yuan Xian, the host of Weixin Shenjiao Yixin Branch Temple, led virtuous cultivators to attend the 2022 Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony at headquarters Xianfo Si Temple. At the same time, they had the chance to do the field trip. Virtuous cultivators took part in this activity with relevant learning hearts. 
Virtuous cultivators of Yixing Branch Temple set off at 7 a.m. and dropped it by Daya Branch Temple. At noon, they arrived at headquarters Shenfo Si Temple to attend the 2022 Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony. Since the event finished, Master Yuan Xian led virtuous cultivators to have the outdoor education in Shenfo Si Temple to introduce the feng shui and various treasure notes, including Ultimate Bliss Hall, Lumia's Court and Mountains in front of Shenfo Si Temple, Picard in the display, white plane playing in the water, the structure and rise of the gate, bell of war piece, Tathagata garden, 500 arets, and so on to discover the Zen of Shenfo Si Temple. With this journey of deep intellectual learning, virtuous cultivators learned more about the culture of Wei Shen Jiao and felt grateful for the compassion of Wang Chan Lao Zhu and the selflessness of Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi. Everyone felt blessed on the first day of the new year. Wei Xin report, Luo Xiu Ying, Yixin Branch Temple. For this week's education news, Professor Luo Wenlin arranged a tea ceremony journey to Shan Yi Township, Miaoli County, for students enrolling in seminar on Chinese classes of Wei Xin Shenjiao College on January 2nd. Everyone was full of joy with sufficient reward. Take a look. On January 2nd, Professor Rowan Ling and the students of Extension Education Lifelong Learning of Weixin Shenjiao College came to the Zhousong Inn in the Longtan Mountains of Shanyi Township, Miaoli County to experience the culture of tea and enjoy a rare tea ceremony journey in life. Hanging on the wall of the inn lobby is a couplet of the east-west linking in yang. The north south is the majestic boundary, revealing the magnificence of Chan. This is the place where the owner of the inn, Mr. Ro, entertains tourists from all over the world. Through Mr. Ro's humorous introduction and reception, everyone can gradually understand the good place of Miao Li. Professor Ro also arranged a tea setting, accompanied by the professional introduction of tea ceremony and tea testing. Everyone felt refreshed in body and mind. Professor Ro explained the tea ceremony culture he traveled and encountered and its relevance to Emperor Chiyo. Let everyone have an in-depth understanding of the development and maturation of the tea ceremony culture in the Chinese nation, creating today's enduring tea drinking culture, which is closely related to Chinese civilization. After having a sumptuous and delicious lunch, the hostess of the inn gave each one a handful of very fresh and tender celery that she had grown personally on the return trip. Everyone was harvested spiritually and materially. Every student who participated in this outdoor teaching was hanging a smile to go home. Extension Education Lifelong Learning of Weixin Shenjia College is enrolling in the second semester of the 110th academic year. The content of the courses is diversified and virtuous fellows are welcome to sign up for learning. Weixin Report, Miao Li. Thank you for tuning in today. Please always keep the pandemic prevention code in mind. Wear your face masks. Have your hands washed and no touching the eyes, nose, and mouth, and keep your social distancing. May COVID-19 and Omicron subside soon. Please stay tuned at 11.30 p.m. on every Monday and 11.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. of the local time in Taiwan on every Tuesday on Weixin TV. May happiness and peace find you. See you next week.